Hey everybody, my name is Robert. I want to say thank you for coming to this channel. If you are new here, check out my videos. If you like it, please subscribe. The things I do on my channel are DIYs, reviews, taking my family out and vlogging, and lastly, talking about cars and trucks, especially this truck back here, which is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma, which I have coined Hard Shell Taco. So today I'm actually going to be doing all four things that I just mentioned earlier about this YouTube channel. My oldest son, Jesse, He's actually gonna help me install some tweeters into my Tacoma. And we're gonna to listen to see how much of an improvement it is. If you guys don't know what a tweeter is, it is a small speaker that generally goes either in the dash or upper part of your door to help the treble or high frequency sounds of your stereo system. Not all cars have this, but the Tacomas do. And I found out through Tacoma World, there's a big upgrade just for $99, which I have here. And what this $99 upgrade does, it's supposed to make a huge improvement in sound. These trucks are over $30,000 and they pretty much have a lackluster audio system. I complained about it in the six things that I hated about my Toyota Tacoma. I wanted to figure out a way to improve it and possibly do it on the cheap. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So Jesse, I got these tweeters actually through Amazon for about 99 bucks. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check out. You open this up, see yep. what the thing looks like. Yeah, let's show them the tweeters. Oops. So those are the screws. These are the screws. And then the box is actually shipped pretty well. Let's flip this slowly so the speakers don't come out. There you go. You can actually just grab the speakers. These are actually from Subaru. Uh, they use a Subaru part number. But as you can see right there, it's got a K, it stands for Kicker, which is a popular aftermarket company. So Kicker actually provided these speakers for Subaru and for whatever cool reason, they actually drop into the Toyotas. And when I mean drop in, literally you remove the old one and pop in the new one. And it even has the harness plug. So there is no soldering. It is a true plug and play, right, Jesse? Yeah. You can just plug and play. So go ahead and hold that. Let's show them what we got to get at. So it's starting to get a little bit dark and I hate finishing my work when it's dark. But what we're gonna do is we have to, let's see if I can get my phone. We gotta get this A pillar out on both sides. That one's actually gonna be easier. This one won't, like, won't take too much longer, but we're gonna take this A pillar out here as well. So we can get to the speaker grills right here. And my understanding they pop out and it's only held by two bolts or screws. So let's hurry up and do that. Like that. Yep. And kind of get it in the corner. Yep. Pop it out. Try to get the whole thing flat in there. Flat. Ugh. There you go. Did you get it? Yep. Now pull it. Pull it out. Yep. Now we gotta do the bottom one. More light. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now you got your 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. Loosen both screws. Yep. Wait. We got you gotta get it all the way loose. Keep there going. There we go. You could, you could use the tool or take it off like I did. So now you're gonna yank it slowly from the top. From yep. Is yep. It the whole Just pull cover? it out from the top. There you go. Pull it more towards me. There you go. Now pull it out towards you. Towards you, yep. There you go. That's it. Good job. Everything's awesome. So now we gotta get the uh, grill. Go ahead and get the plastic tool. Stick it in there and then leverage it out slowly. Yep, there you go. And then get the other parts too. Basically, you gotta pop out everything in the front. Well, I have this one need to be took out more. more yep, strength. a little bit higher there. Yep. Leverage it more. There you go. There you hear the pop. So now you gotta get the left side more. Here, right here. Right here. Yep. Watch your fingers. Don't hit the windshield because it's tinted. There you go. Is it out? Now you're gonna pull it back. Now you're gonna put it towards you. Oh, yep, and out. There you go. This one. And then you just got to do little by little. Like out, turn, back in. Basically, we got to push that in. There we go. <laughs> That's what I needed. <laughs> oh my god. So you got to get either your finger in here like I did and yank on it afterwards or a tool. Look at the difference on that. Uh, this is like a paper. The speaker is not left or right sensitive. I have to wait until it clicks. Yep. 
You heard the click? Yeah, I heard a click. All right. That way you can see it, right? I'm just, gonna... just do it finger tight until you get the other one. Now get the other one in. That way you know they're in, right? I'm tightening. Now you go ahead and tighten up. You can tighten with your finger first as much as you can. Now I'll tighten the other one. I'll Is that the, the back one you're trying to tighten? Okay. That one, it's not really tightened and not enough. So just make it snug, okay? Because it's plastic. You don't want to put it too tight. No, I'll do it out of the way. There we go. You see it? Yeah. You got it in the slots? Okay. Uh, not yet. Yeah, you got it. You can do. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so now you just push it down. Wait, there we go. Clear out everything. Yep, because I have my other wires. Uh, it needs a little force. I need a f there there you go. I have everything. Wow, good so job. We have to put this cover on. The A pillar. When you stick it in here, you gotta make sure that this piece goes into that hole. Yeah. And I didn't have it. That's why. There we go. So now you can do the rest. Yeah, it's aligned. That way you don't um, cross thread. Remember that? I already got the top one in. Okay, now you can use it, um, take it off the socket and turn it by hand. I'll tighten Snug. It. There we go. Yep. The bottom one's done. Oh. And the, there we go. There we go. There, there we go, it's in. Okay. There's a hole tight. Yep. Must. Now I'll put the covers on. Make sure it's aligned. Yep. Because you do it wrong, you're going to break it. Yeah, make sure if it's aligned. There, there we go. go. I got the cover on. One more. One more. Make sure it's aligned. Yep. Oh. Nice. Nice. It's good, right? Yeah, everything's stiff. And... <laughs> everything's good? Yeah. It's All right. tight, everything. All right, so we're just going to have to test it out. Anyways, I'm back in the taco. It's about 81 degrees in here, so it's pretty warm especially for a SoCal day, which is kind of odd. I'm gonna play a song that's pretty dynamic with bass and treble, and um, I'm actually gonna sync it to this video so you guys can actually hear what it actually sounds like if you are listening to uh, YouTube or downloading or whatever. So it's actually the real track, not just me listening to it and you guys listening to me listening to it, if that makes any sense. So um, here it goes. Put some of that B-roll so you didn't have to just stare at this guy uh, listening to music, which is kind of odd. And I know some people do that, and uh, maybe they're cool enough to do that. Um, I'm not really that cool, I guess. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I picked the song because it actually has pretty good dynamics. It has a low end, mid, and high, so you can kind of hear the difference. And um, I felt there was definitely an improvement on the sound. For 100 bucks, it's not bad at all. I think it's a decent upgrade. Now, um, it's not gonna bring you more bass because it has nothing to do with bass, but it just brings up that highs to make it sound a little bit crisper, a little bit clearer. Um, listen to that track, 
like I mentioned, that track I just synced that you can hear would be what you would hear on your device if you were to download it and play it in your stereo. So um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have done this upgrade, give me your input. And if you're looking forward to trying this upgrade, let me know as well, okay guys? So I appreciate you guys watching this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Peace out guys. Oh,